Hi Air People, I'm Melanie Florence and this is Miss Melly Flo's Vibe Life, my YouTube channel for my uh, tarot readings. I have been reading tarot for 25 years. I do do personal readings. If you're interested, uh, hit me up on my Miss Melly Flo's Facebook page. Uh, I'd really, really love to do some um, readings for you if you're interested. So I have been doing this again for 25 years. I read the Greenwood. Today I am not going to read the Greenwood. I'm going to be doing some, an arch types deck. So different deck. Normally I've been doing these from the Greenwood, but this deck has been interesting. I got it a few months ago and it's a different deck altogether. It took me a while to connect to this one. So I'm actually interested in just throwing out a few readings this week. So the hot tea this week is going to be a little bit different for me and for you. So uh, first I'm going to throw a few decks through cards from a few different decks. Don't want to throw the decks, just shuffle them out, right? So I'm going to start with the... Uh, uh, da -da 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 these are Earth Magic cards. So, from Stephen D. Farmo, if you believe the print. Um, so, why do I do them in these different? So I do them in elements. So I am a Capricorn, but my have a I have a Gemini Moon, and so I would watch the air for my Gemini Moon. It's also about your communication. It's also about how our communication works and our mind works, and so it's really about that sort of thing. So, what have we got out of this? We have lightning. So lightning energy. So sometimes this is the tower, but this is like, you know, this is things going to happen. Bolt of energy, bolt of energy from blue, like power, the strength of lightning energy. Look at that over the storm, over the ocean. Okay, power in the lightning energy. We've also got the winter solstice. So inside of that, you've got a little bit of time to reflect. This is a midwinter feeling, like where we really take stock of what we've got going on. Okay. So this might take the reading a different way because I'm going to get a different deck out for a second. All right, so we've got a fairy energy in here. So this is a little bit of earth magic. This is a little bit of earth inside of you. So we've got this power and this reflection of ourselves and looking in our depth. And, and it's to find a little bit of sprite inside of you. All right, air people, it's time to find a little bit of sprite inside of you. All right, I was going to do something else, but give me one second. I'm going to pick another deck. The box over here, and if you guess how many I've got in the box, so we go for that one, we go for the fairy fay. Of course, we'll go for the fairy fay in the forest. Fairy fay in the forest. All right, let's pick one from here. All right, if you guess how many how many decks I've got in that box, uh, put it in the comments. Um, I will uh, send you a deck. I've got a free deck to give away. It's called the Whimsical Bitch Oracle, and a mate of mine just put it out. She's got a channel, so it's called. Sage Circle, I think. She does some readings. Really good. All right, jump on. All right, one fairy card. Let's do this from the fairy forest. I bought a whole heap of fairy decks. So I did do a, a mid-month reading. I'm sort of putting them around mid-month that I do like a witch's brew, which is all sort of with pagan and cat Celtic with my Greenwood deck and some fairy cards. So if you're interested, I've got that. I'm going to take this one. Oh, surprise. All right. So I wasn't going to do. So this is a green man. This is really embracing the depths of the forest. I'm really connecting with that spirit. Really, here's the depth. Here's the embracement of, of all that you can control, what you survey, air peeps. This is a really strong card. Like, it's a really good, like having a bit of a reflection in that forest, but we're gonna find some earth magic in there. And you're gonna find the green man. So intuition, fertilization, and action. He's an action man. All right, so that actually deeply connects with my Greenwood deck, which I'm not using today. All right, so. Okay. Green, he's in my Greenwood deck. Like, he's the center of me in that. It's you. It's you. You are the green man. We are all the green man. So we're looking at some natural elements for you people, like you're getting into gardening. All right, so what we're going to do is five line read. All right, so five lines being five for how we got here, five cards for how we got here, four for our healing elements, three for our uh, three for how we're going to apply it to the practical world, what the effects of that is, what the, what the outcomes are, uh, two for our partnerships with everybody and how we're going to approach our partnerships, and one <clears throat> at the end for self love. What's the self love card in the end? So, um, the first card out is the poet. That's interesting. So it's time for you to write it down. Get poetic about your life. Look at that. Embrace the moon. Embrace the ideas that are flowing from that. Look at that, all those little air. There's a lot of air. There's a lot of ideas inside of that. All the birds that are flowing out of there. 
I'm a poet. All right, it's time to write it down. Time to get poetic about your life. Air peeps. What have we got? Judge. All right. So this is, um, you know, if you're presenting a case in here, it's time to write it all down. It's time to, you know, really take the time and there's a judge in here. So we, there's some sort of judgment maybe in your life that's going on. But this is also, we are also the judge. You know, there's a lot of hands inside of here. There's a lot of praise. So this is hopeful inside of here in the black and the white of it. Hands are out and hands are in prey inside of that. All right. What is the ultimate judge? All right. So, air peeps. Whoa. Apocalypse. So, this power... This lightning, this energy, this is like the tower. It brings things down. <coughs> so this is going to be a time to reflect of all of this. But I would say that outside of this judgment and everything that's going on, remember you've got the poetic heart here, and this is what's brought you here. Uh, that there's been something apocalyptic. There's been a turn. There's been a turn of events. And we know that this year has been massive. Uh, so this is, you know... You know what? There's a really interesting pattern to that, isn't there? The, Okay. Wow. Big energies. Things have fallen down for you. Air people. But that's all right. You've got the poet in your heart. And we're looking for fairies and we're looking back. So with its reflection to our winter. All right. What have we got? Oh, the animal. All right. So this is time to get back to basic instincts, basic natures of yourself. You know, really be distinct and then explore and, 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 you know, put yourself out there. And I think this is a really, you know, return to the bush sort of feel inside of it to me. Like, and it's search. So it's a searching sort of card and it's a real basics, you know, survival sort of. But it's key. It's prone. It's prone energy. All right. So these cards are really interesting. They took me a while to connect to. And that's why I didn't present them for a while because they're a really interesting deck. Very different to mine. Very, very different. Ah. Right. So this is a breakaway. This is an earthquake. This is a lot going on. There's a fault line. There's stress lines inside of here. And there's a breakaway. And there's a breakaway point that's really quite fierce inside of all of this. And it's requiring your animal instincts. And it's requiring judge and judgment. All right. Okay. 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 Big. Big air people. It's been big. Earth magic. But back to the green man. Centre yourself in natural elements. Alright, so what's going to heal you? The destroyer. Alright, so this is on your side, inside of this apocalypse, that you're part of this. Alright, you have your own strength. You have the power inside of this. Alright, there's a fault line, there's everything, but this is literally the destroyer. So this is, everything is going to be broken down around you. Big energies, air people. Oof. Okay, okay. Yeah. Healing elements. These are healing elements. A gape. A gape. A gape. So something's a gape. Can you see all that? See all the light shining? All the candles shining in the middle of that? So we're a light. We're a light with all this energy. There's a, there's a break inside of it. And everything is focused. See all these lines are focused? So we're focusing the energy in and out. And uh, so there's a light inside of all of this. You know, there's a shining light inside of all of this. You know, and everything is being exposed inside of that. Okay. The shadows in the dark. It'll all be seen. All right, the shadows in the dark. It'll all be seen. Everything will be a light inside of this. All right, this is a healing element. Interesting, interesting deck. Really interesting deck. All right. One more for the healing. One more for the healing. Venom. All right. So inside of the snake, there's always a rebirth. All right. So I'm guessing inside of this situation that you've got going on, there's no more time to hold back. This is basically saying giving all your guns, use your animal instincts, their fault line. This is all at its own nature. Everything is being exposed. The light, the dark, the shadow, the destroyer has come. Your life has moved and everything is being exposed inside of here. So there's venom. So this, you'll use this venom to your 
to your advantage, right? So if somebody's casting their venom at you, this judge is going to see. This light and the shadows are going to be exposed inside of here. The destroyer is on your behalf. This is your healing element. All right, so if this is being cast towards you, it's going to be exposed. The light and dark is going to be exposed inside of this. You can all you can use this and, and twist it, not twist it, but it will come out a different way to what if anybody's using it against you. You know, your animal instinct, it's broken. The end of this, this is a fault line here, and so this is the end has come, and there's no more, there's no more Mr. Nice Guy inside of this by the looks of it. All right, three, three, four, owl... Ooh, how are we going to play it to the world? So inside of this, we've got this clown. Now, the clown's not jovial, but he is making sure that he is spreading light. He's, you know, his eyes are open and he's probably the innocent inside of this. And there's beams of light coming out, beams of colour coming out of this. And so this is a place where it's like, you know, don't play that you're venomous, don't, or not venomous, but that's not your, that's not yours. There's an egg, the world is changing inside that. This is for you to play the, you know, take things a little bit light and happily. You know, you don't have to play the clown. But this is either you're going to project that, or, you know, I think that you, that's what that is. You're going to project that. That's green tears of the clown. All right, here we are. Ooh, being big, 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 big. All right, the river. So this is a let your emotions flow sort of cards. This is the river of happiness. This is an emotions sort of thing. It's like let them out, let them go, flow with the river, flow with the the towel. Like you know, let yourself go in it. Just keep your head above and go with the river of emotions that come with this and, and work them through. There's colour. There's show your colours inside of this. There's colour in that card. Alright, in the outcomes we've got colour, so how are we going to apply it? Alright. Alright, one more. How are we going to apply it to the world? Right. One more. The warrior. You're going to take this power and you're going to take this destroyer and you're going to take this apocalypse, right? And you're going to be a warrior inside of all of this. And see the colours, all the colours coming out just here. Show the colours. This is showing real colours. All right, and this apocalypse. I took the judge up, I picked that up. You're going to take that judgment, you're going to take it all and you're going to be the warrior and you're going to show that you've got the strength. You've got the strength to overcome this. All right, little fairy, what have we got? Get into your garden in the middle of all this, I'm telling you, air people. All right, so this is how we're going to uh, take it to the world. This is how we're going to our, our partnerships. So there's a vow in this. Look at that, the little dove. There's a vow and there's a hope. So inside of this, you're going to promise something to yourself. You're going to promise something to the people around you. There's going to be a vow. There's going to be a way for you to protect yourself inside of all of this. There's promises being made. You know, these are commitments. These are, you know, contracts that are being made inside of this. So there's a vow and there's a contract being made inside of what we're doing here. And that dub of hope inside of it. In the many moons, there's many moons in there. That's something that lasts for many moons. Like... Okay, what else in our partnerships? Oh, to see the sunshine. There's a vow to see the sunshine inside of that. All right, air peeps. Two more cards to go. This One more for partnerships. One more for partnerships. Okay. Oh! And the lover. All right, so the swans make commitment forever. Birds do. Birds generally make for life. That's why when you see one crow dead on the road, you'll always see another one, right? All right, so this is fantastic though. These are promises and the vow and the lover. And this doesn't have to be, and I generally say these all don't have to be about somebody else. They totally can be. This could be the vow and the lover coming together. It's beautiful, right? It could be somebody, there could be a marriage proposal in that. Absolutely inside of partnerships. But this is also, you know, sometimes that vow and that the lover is, is us and how we approach the world. And if you can make a commitment to yourself and a vow to, to, and a, to, to the lover inside of yourself, and, and that's how you project that to the world or your partnerships. Definitely you can see there's a partnership after all this destruction. This is a beautiful place to be in our partnerships. All right, one more card Whew, for our self-love. What have we got for self-love for the air peeps for this week, for the hot tea? Oh, 
inside of this there's a seed it's really sweet look not at the seed in the apple but the orchard in the seed big okay look not the seed in the apple but the orchard in the seed this is something new this is something that's being planted there's something that can grow from here from all of this destruction from all of this apocalypse and this fault line and the venom that you feel and the shadows that are being exposed and how you've had to work on your instincts. The lover and the poet have always been inside of you. This lover and this poet are the same people. This lover is always inside of you. You can make a vow to the poet because that's what's got you through and your little fairy inside of you. But there's a seed that's planted. So there's a hope and a seed inside of the last bit of this. That's amazing. So this week, you might feel like you have gone through a battle. It says you have. It's been really powerful. But out of this, there's going to be a river of emotion and there's a river and you're the warrior and, it, and, and you can maybe take on this a little bit lightheartedly and really start to look at your fairy, your fairy, the fairies and the winter solstice tell me that it's time for you to go seek your green man in the forest. You know, and this, this is taking a turn. The lover inside of you, the vow, this commitment and, and it's a seed, a new seed has been planted in your life. So I really hope that helps. If it resonates, please put a comment in the comment section uh, and hit like and subscribe um, and if you'd like a personal reading um, hit me up on Facebook Miss Melly Flow Miss Melly's Flow Miss or oh, hot tea for the soul one of the two um, this is great I really hope you're having a good week and you are safe and well wherever you are mahalo